Justice Muazu held that the DSS has power to carry out its constitutional duties to making arrests, detain and ensuring prevention of internal crime but however says such duties must be carried out within the ambit of the law. He added that the arrest power of DSS was not at large as the law stipulated conditions under which a Nigerian citizen must be held and for how long. Emir Fele had dragged the Attorney General of the Federation AGF, Director General DSS and DSS, seeking enforcement of his fundamental human rights to freedom of movement and dignity to human life. In the suits instituted on his behalf, have by a senior advocate of Nigeria's son, Joseph Dauda, the suspended CBN governor had applied that his arrest and detention since June 10th without valid order of court be voided and set aside. Uh, the continued detention is unlawful in the sense that no charge has been brought and it is wrong for, a, for a, an organization of that nature to keep somebody in detention and be looking for evidence with which to charge him to court. So I think the uh, judiciary is on the right track. Seven days have been given to the DSS to either charge him to court or release him on administrative bail. We expect him to be released on administrative bail today as we speak. Emir Fele demanded a compensation of 5 million naira as exemplary damages for his alleged unlawful detention. Chong Anamel Joseph, Global TV News.